By the way, I, I know I said I'm not into chocolate. After my first two rides today, I felt like I was going to bonk. You know, I was going to hit the wall. I was going to run out of energy. Um, last time, I just powered through and had like a 30-minute ride that was like miserable. Today, I said, let's not let that happen again. Or let's not let that happen again. I got off the bike. I unclipped, wandered out in the kitchen. I ate a fun-sized Kit Kat. And I had like an amazing final third. Who would have... Uh, sanest uh, exerciser. Local man finds out that food I equals energy. Who would have thought? It was a game changer, man. My dad eats maple syrup during marathons. That's crazy, though. Like, that... Listen. <laughs> a marathon is, like... It's a genuine... That's a serious athletic endeavor. That's 26.2 miles of running. I had to feel, though, that, like, maple syrup... I mean, he's the one running the marathons. But, like, that seems very indigestible and, like... I, I just feel like it would be hard to consume enough of it to make a huge difference. And also, my stomach would cramp up like crazy, I guess. The gels are just sugar. Yeah, but they're like, the consistency is probably like thinner than maple syrup, at least. But maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe your dad, I've never run a marathon. Your dad's, you use the plural, so I'm assuming he's run more. All I'm saying, people are like mansplaining maple syrup to me. In my second year of university, because my school has like a problematic culture of masculinity and bravado, um, engineering students try out to be uh, freshman orientation leaders. They're called frosh leaders. Several of my friends tried out to be frosh leaders. What did they do? They chugged a bottle of maple syrup in front of the audition committee. Every single one of them, after they did it, threw up in the bathroom right after they finished. That's why, so me picturing, I mean, admittedly, they didn't run 13 miles before they took the first sip. I'm imagining that it probably hits different. And they're probably, your dad's probably not chugging like a whole bottle. But at the same time, like, that's, that's my frame of reference here. Did they make it after they drank the syrup? It's a sad story. One of them did, one of them didn't. Because there's other parts to the interview process. Like, it's seriously like, everybody wants to be, everybody in engineering wants to be a frosh leader. It gives you it gives you some social capital. It's baked into like the engineering culture at my school. <laughs> Cause it's 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 just below like fraternity culture. Like they're not tying cinder blocks to dudes' dicks and then throwing the cinder block off the edge of a roof, but there's supposed to be enough rope so that the cinder block just hits the ground before it tears their penis off. But then like the cinder block goes through a manhole cover and then you see the guy falling with like really bad CGI. And ooh, ooh. Anyway, but yeah, they die there. You see the freshmen, they all get like a leather jacket. And then at, at, at the end of orientation, they dye it purple with again, a known carcinogenic dye. The first year engineers have to go through a, a collective trauma slash torture called climbing the grease pole. It's a big muddy pit. And then a really like, I don't know, like a 30 foot tall pole that's covered in KY jelly and Vaseline. And the engineers all have to work together to figure out how to make a human pyramid to get to the top. And then it's like the idea is that like, you know, they they've built some camaraderie as a result of that. They then, they get patches on their jackets that are like, I was at the grease pole, I went to ritual at least 10 times in one school year, I was in uh, J squad, which means I almost flunked out of my freshman year, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. That's why I say that like my school experience, I really feel like it was closer to the, the 80s, like animal house type thing than to the current collegiate experience, which is, is probably better for everybody. Yes, one year at, at Queen's Homecoming, they flipped over uh, a, a, they didn't, I don't think it was a police car. I think they flipped over a car and that led to a lot of police presence. But that was, um, that was the year before I attended the school. That was when I was a high school senior. I was not at that party.
your schooling was closer to the 80s in 1999 than 2023? No, I'm being more brazen. I think my college experience was closer to an 80s college experience in 2006 to 2010 versus what the collegiate experience is like in 2023. I think the culture, it, it's moved, moved away from that and it's moved away faster than usual, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> I went to Queens too. It is funny thinking about, like I wasn't in engineering school, but there was like a, a, a badge that engineers would get on their jacket. It was called like the triple X badge. I can't even, I can't remember what the X's were, but definitely like one of them was sleeping with your TA. And I'm like, that probably would not fly <laughs> in the, in the mind. There's like an actual like uh, obvious power imbalance there. But I definitely knew a girl who had the triple X badge and everybody was like, she's so cool. <laughs> Sleeping inside of a campus building, and I forget the last one. I bet I can Google it. What have I done here? Get me out of there. <clears throat> Triple X badge, Queens Engineering. Oh my God! There's a there's a fandom wiki for it. Oh, have have sex while wearing your engineering jacket. Have sex while being purpled, which was when your whole body is dyed purple, which is an engineering thing, and having sex in an engineering building. Eight comments. Do both people need to be purple? Next comment. So would someone who's not in engineering be able to earn the traditional triple X by fucking someone wearing a GPA, fucking someone purple, then fucking someone in an engineering building? Reply, yes. Does having sex include finishing or just penetration? Bro, and just, world's least pedantic engineers? Nah, I think it's okay if you don't finish, especially if you're a girl. It might be hard to get that done under the circumstances. So is it the same bar for art science if we have sex in three buildings? A fandom user replied, no, that is called the art side triple X. Any advice on buildings for art side triple X? This is crazy. Who's reading, who's writing comments on this? It's, it's game FAQs for sex. That's the school I went to, man. It used to be renowned as like a, a pretty good academic institution. Now it's just for like kids from Toronto to go and behave badly three hours away from their parents so they can still go home for reading week. How recent are those posts? They're from 2015 and, and 2018, man. It's, it's madness. Isn't that what you did? No, it was for me to behave badly 40 minutes away from where my parents lived so that I could still meet them for dinner on Friday nights and get taken out to like Nam Pen, which was a dope-ass Thai restaurant. But I, I, wasn't, I wasn't sniffing at even like a, a triple X badge with an asterisk, I'll tell you that much. Now, did I do my uh, the Century Club occasionally? Did I take 100 shots of beer in 100 minutes? Yeah. But I definitely never uh, covered myself in Genshin Violet. I, I People are like, oh, shots of beer? What are you talking about? I'm telling you, some, some of you didn't. I mean, you had a 2023 collegiate experience. I'm not holding it against you. You wouldn't do 100 shots of hard alcohol in 100 minutes because you would die. You do 100 shots of beer in 100 minutes. It's still rough. I mean, I'm not trying to have bravado about it. That's 35 milliliters times 100. That's three and a half liters of beer in an hour and a half. It makes your... Uh, I mean, you burp a lot, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> it's, that, it's not as easy as it sounds. And I'm, I think it's an indictment for me to say that it actually wasn't that hard at the time. But... Hang on, I gotta look at some more of these bars, man. Extra shenanigans bars on the engineering jacket. 21 gun salute. A student must... Oh, I remember this! 
A student must drink 21 glasses of any assortment of beverages available at any of the cafeterias. It is widely accepted that each drink must be a different drink. All beverages must be consumed within one sitting and within one hour. Vomiting while attempting the 21-gun salute will void the attempt and probably get you thrown out of the cafeteria. Following the consumption of the 21 glasses of liquid, the person attempting the bar must then get to the other side of the cafeteria and touch the wall without throwing up. Comment. Successfully completed this yesterday. It was hard, but if you get the milk out of the way first, you should be fine. Advance to goods. In a group of three plus in formal attire or your engineering jackets with a tie, must challenge passing commerce students to start and finish a game of Monopoly in the front lobby of the commerce building. <laughs> College, it's an interesting time in a, in a person's life. Ritual, that's the one I was talking about. Attend ritual at Clark Hall Pub 10 times in a row within one semester or 14 times in an academic year. On your 10th or 14th appearance, you must bring the physical ritual bar with you and place it in any drinks you consume. If the bar is snatched from your drink, you must immediately finish whatever is remaining in the container. Note, some alumnus lay claim to a ritual squared, consisting of 100 total rituals before their final departure from Queens. Okay, this is like, even, even at my most debaucherous days, Whenever I saw like a 50-year-old guy in the engineering bar on a Friday on campus, I was like, bro, you, are a f you fucked up. <laughs> you. <laughs> Whenever, I remember it was like the first homecoming where I saw like, cause this was like 2006 or something. I saw people that came back. They were like, I graduated in 1986 and now I'm like going to keggers at my alma mater. I was like, bro, you're a loser. No disrespect. This shit, this is four years or like maybe six or eight if you stay in academia. But like that is not, you're like 45 years old now. That shit is not cool. You got to cut that out. Your doctor's going to be mad at you. As someone, I'm 34. I wouldn't go back and do that shit. That's, that's like weird, buddy. I'm not going to go to a keg party full of 18 and 19 year olds. They're annoying. No disrespect. Like if you're watching me right now, if you hung out with me, you would be like, this shit is boring. And I would be like, this person's annoying. We're just like, this is the perfect dynamic for us right now. Go back to a kegger and like some 19 year old kid is going to treat me like I'm damn Alf or something like that. It's an old guy drinking a beer. Woo! No, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> catch me at the Costco. 